Welcome to CUBE's coverage of Varsity 2016. My name is Aaron Godfrey. I'm joined here with the president of the uh, Keele Students Union, Cricky. Craig. Hi. Uh, yep. Yeah, so we're down at Newcastle Rugby Football Club. We've got two of the guys from the rugby club here with us as well. It's going to be kicking off in about 15 minutes or so. And great to be down. Great to be down and uh, helping out CUBE with this. Of course, the SU loves, loves to support our societies and supporting CUBE on their first TV venture. Um, this, of course, being Varsity, is our, hopefully, seventh consecutive win for Varsity. Uh, we sh so, hopefully. Hopefully. No, We're quietly confident. Quite quietly quietly confident. confident. And by quietly, I mean not very quietly confident. <laughs> uh, so, I'm George Moran. I, uh, I'm on the rugby committee. I'm a so performing social sec. And uh, this is Nick. Uh, Hi, I'm club sec. Um, <coughs> And yeah, we're confident today, we've had a good season. Yeah, fi um, finished very, very strongly in this season. Um, we, are, we had a rough rough patch to begin with because uh, we basically had an entire new uh, new squad. We had a lot of third years that left last year, they were in the start in first, uh, first 15, uh, that then went on, uh, so we then went on to the recruitment fair this year, the Freshers Fair, yep. uh, recruited uh, a whole bunch of very talented Freshers that uh, you'll see many of them out today. So, yeah, I've seen you've got a few first years in the squad this year. Yeah, I think we've got, how many, how many do you think we've got? Like seven or eight. Seven or eight in the squad, squad couple starting. Yeah, starting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, had a, we had quite a, a string of injuries about mid-season. <coughs> Uh, myself and uh, a couple of the the big performers from the sec uh, from uh, the second years and the third years all <laughs> broken noses, torn torn uh, ligaments and hamstrings and, and stuff like that. So it, uh, it was it was rough, but we came back and we finished strong. Finished uh, second in the table with a strong. What was the final score in the last game? Like 78 nil. 78 nil in the final in the final game. So well, second's good for having so many injuries at the start of the season. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it was it was worrying for a period because it just seemed to be injury after injury. We had a couple of physical games, one after the other. Uh, the but luckily the the freshers really stepped up. Um, you know, made a made a huge performance and, and realised that it was on their shoulders really to to carry us yeah, through. Bring that young blood in, and then yeah, really keep the club yeah, going for, carry next on for next years. season. Yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, I think next season we're going to be a very uh, a very strong uh, side, definitely competing for promotion because we were this year. Unfortunately, with the injuries, that it may, it we you know we dropped out of the uh, contention a little bit, but definitely next year we'll. Yeah. Uh, We'll be looking to be promoted, for okay. sure. Definitely. And uh, joining us now, Nick Reeves, the president of Kiel AU. Nick, Hello. are you looking forward to varsity? Yeah, it should be great. Three days, really looking forward to it. Um, it's actually real, it's actually happening now. It's so. happening. So, <laughs> it's right now. This yeah, is it. This, this is, is it. Getting. The reason why I'm here is happening. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's all, all a bit exciting. So, yeah. Um, what is your prediction for tonight? For tonight, I think we're going to do very well. I don't really want. I'm not going to sit on the fence because obviously Kiel are going to win overall. Yeah. Um, of course. But yeah, I think today in the rugby will be a very strong performance. We've got the archery going on back at Kiel. Let's we not forget. Yes, um, of course we've got the archery. That should be a good game, and obviously the football under light should be a really good event. Awesome. Um, it's been strong for the last number of years. Uh, what is the secret to Kiel's success? I think we just want it more. Yeah. Um, we've been this week has been varsity training. The lads, have cut, lads and girls have come back over the Easter holidays, and the amount of people back training has been unbelievable. Um, the effort that's gone in to the performances over the next three days has been pretty strong. Yeah. So well prepared. Will we see you on the field for the cricket? Uh, you might do. The squad hasn't been released yet, but you right. know, <laughs> I'd be pretty upset if I was dropped. This <laughs> Fair enough. Well, you can you can know Cube's going to be there to be covering it. Oh well, you know. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the chance this year will be a bit nicer. But I'm not sponsored by Kingsters this year. So. <laughs> uh, Craig, do you have anything to say? Uh, not so much. No. Uh, Squad's gone back in, so came out. They look very, very strong in the warm-ups. Really, some fantastic drills. So hopefully, uh, should translate. We just wait for them to come back out again. Hey, we should get some score predictions going. Some score well, predictions. We'll go. Because we'll go, uh, so last year we were uh, they shipped us off to back, back end of nowhere. Yeah, Longton, horrible, horrible conditions. I mean, it was it was you know, raining and just the wind was just 
like no other so cold and, and everything. But that was a, but a clean sheet. Wasn't yeah, it, it was 35 nil. 35 nil the final yeah. score. I uh, do you want to go first with your prediction? Prediction so for today. Prediction for today. So I don't look too stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was discussing this earlier actually, and I reckon we could put. We felt last year we could have put more points on them. Definitely. We sort of um, lost it a bit, lost our way because they didn't really put much of of, of a fight. So we kind of played to them and played to that weakness. Yeah. So I'm going. I think we're going to nil them again. I'm going to go 50, 50 nil. I'll go 50 nil. 50 nil. Um, I think I think Nick's on the right track there. I mean, we were definitely a much more attacking side this season. Yeah. Uh, I mean, last year we were we had a couple of exceptional players that were. You know, they get the ball and just look, you know, devastating every time. But we still have those players. But as a unit in general, we as soon as Do you as think we get, you're a lot more of a team. Oh, like, well, yeah, team, as yeah. soon as we get the ball, it's everyone. You know, everyone's just going like a bow of hell forward, and uh, and you know, teams in our league are really struggling to contain mm -hmm. us. So I'm gonna say, I think they might get maybe one score I, yeah, I think we, have, we have a I trouble with complacency there. if we get too far ahead so I think I'm going to go for it's going to be a big score so I'm going to go for 63-7 uh, okay. Clean. 63-7 I'm going for it <laughs> come on the lads Nick what do you think um, I've been thinking about it 43-6 uh, 43-6 I am thinking 45-3 Five, Similar. Yeah. yeah. Similar. Oh, it's on me now, isn't it? Yeah, Craig. What do you I, think? Having seen, like, I've done the commentary here for the last couple of years, and I, I'm confident with the unit of nailing them. So, whatever happens, I think we'll, they will get a point on. Come on, give us a score, Craig. It's going to be a 45 nil. 45 nil. Teams are starting to come out now. Teams are so. starting to come out, so we are going to call it now, and we'll get ready to bring you the coverage of Keel versus Stars Rugby 2016. Started to rain, marvellous. Would it not be better if we were on that side where we were further away from some of the supporters? Uh, yes, yeah, we get this. Hello, this is Jasper Owens and Craig Heath for Cube TV covering the Varsity Rugby this year. So we just, you guys just gave quick score predictions earlier. Yeah. So looking at the squads lined up now, who do you think looks stronger just from the off? From the off, I always want to say our boys. Um, and just, that's the right answer. Um, we've, we've, seen, <laughs> we've, seen them in, we've seen them in warm up, we've seen them in training. They're very fired up, they're really ready for it. Um, so now we should just wait and see, so we'll wait for the off. Yeah, there was some talk of injury earlier in the season, so uh, yeah. do you think it could hinder them or have uh, they recovered? I don't know. Um, the guys that were injured, um, some of whom aren't, aren't playing, uh, there's, we've got a couple of lads that have come back from injury. And um, we are. Looks like we're ready to go. It does. So looks like staffs are going to kick first by the looks of things. Yep. On the toss. Uh, so Keel receiving, that gives them, I think, a slight advantage right away. I've always found the team that kicks off uh, has the better, uh, is, is straight away on the defensive, frankly. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, it'll be interesting to see if they go down the middle or onto the wing. Uh, if it goes to the forwards first, it could uh, give staffs a bit more of an advantage. Um, but. If it goes to the backs, then I think we have a strong chance of... Running around them? Yeah. <laughs> a very fast early one. Right. So we'll see... Wait for the whistle. Yep. The, so the ref is... And we are off. And we're off. And it looks like they've Straight into the forwards. Marvellous. And and, oh, no one's... No one's oh, straight into a maul. 
and that looks like I think staffs are over committing a little bit but Keel look like they've rock. and it looks like it's and it's come out staffs and staffs back into a rock and oh that's the number f three for staffs very strong power through there back into the backs but keeping it central not trying anything into the wings yet yeah it's now they're getting oh, and oh, and Keel has it, and he's good. Oh. Not forward. Uh, Look, Eddie. So, come down uh, for the first scrum of the game. And this will be good to see. A scrum is always yeah. a good way to judge the two packs early on. As they bind in. Now, let's see how we do. We've let's got hope. Very, very large, very strong. Yes, it looks very strong. Stars, oh, stars Come on. And we're and it, oh. straight back out the tunnel again. Oh. And it looks like we had the... We, obviously, we, they stopped the push, but we, it looked we like we had the nudge quite on the advantage. We are scrum to be slightly smaller, but... Yeah, losing Looks if like that leaves us with more athleticism yeah, on the field, <laughs> Got the speed and uh, interesting. So it's a fairly even push of them. And oh, it's straight back in. Yeah, oh, the ref played it. Uh, Decent yeah. offload from the scrum right, yeah, nice, half. Um, nice scrum half. Keeping right. the ball alive. In, oh, I wouldn't have run that way personally, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, not I. Uh, then again, I was a forward, so I was always doing the wrong thing. Uh, and that's the staff's number eight yes. into the rut. Sam Steele! Sam and again, Steele. oh, very nice. Stolen, but it's gone for oh, a penalty. Really? No, I didn't okay, manage so to see what was, that was for, though. No. But uh, Ugo, the number two, got the. Um, Got the ball out. Yep, and staffs appear to be going for the line. So, and fan touch in. Have it? Oh no! Oh, oh! No, we managed to. I think that went dead. That. They, uh, they hit it over the dead ball line. Uh, okay, so it went dead, and we're now. 22 uh, meter drop out. Brilliant. <laughs> so Ed Hornby, uh, cap captain for the day for Hill. So. Good kick, uh, well up by Keel. Well taken by the stuff. Very nice. Kill. And straight down. <laughs> good hit by Long, Sam Long stuff. There. Yeah. Excellent. Very good player. Very good. Up to the. Oh. oh, hello. Possibly not what he was hoping for, but. Oh. Fumbled. Not, not, not Fumbled by Charlie Bethel. No. It's gone, back, gone backwards, so. Uh, should be Keel ball if we have the same possession. Yep. And now we're in a ruck. Goes up. Charged the, down by Staff. Was charged down by Staff. Staffs have. Straight in, nice contact by the Keel lads. There. Starting to move into touch, and it's gone into touch. Yeah, gone into touch just around the 10 metre line in the Keel half. First line out of the game. And we shall see what their prowess is like in the air. Keel throw. So, it looks like there. Ugo preparing for the ball in. Very nice. Clean take. Clean Lovely. take. Down to the scrum half. Oh, uh, oh what? Very nice. Staff's hand in there, I think. Uh, was advantage to Keel. And, oh, good take from Cherka. And we have a rock over on the far side. That's a Keel reset. Back out again. No, that might have been dropped by Ugo oh. there. Out to the box. And clean boot. Up. Very nice. On to the staffs. And back up by staffs. Well chased. Chasing down. There from George. Just in the prop. Nice taken pick. by Charlie Bell. Very nice. Down by the Keel 22 by lots of things. Yeah, and it Bethel, of course, in possession. So going to a staff slide out. So we did a very nice take in the first line out, so hopefully we can repeat it. Yeah, so hopefully we can well mess up their game enough. <laughs> that was used to be my thing as a as a second oh, row. Oh yeah. Uh, props, so I was just making sure I didn't drop them. 
And oh, 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 fumbled a bit, and it's gone into. Oh, is that us? That looked like it. Oh no, staff no, staff's staff's Interesting. So, uh, contact in, uh, contact in the air. Uh, uh, signals from the referee. And staffs have elected they, to kick for points. Oh, okay. So, so this could be. This would mess up all of the nil predictions. Yes. Somehow, <laughs> but uh, so Keel pra practicing their kicking earlier. They looked up some very fine form. So hopefully, uh, staffs haven't brought theirs. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fullback taking the kick. <laughs> Of course, being a penalty, if this doesn't go over, then, then Keel have arranged to run it back as much as they damn well can. Okay. Let's see how he does. And and that's gone over. Oh. Clean kick from the staff's fullback. Three 0 to staffs. Early stage of the game. Indeed. Hopefully, it won't set the precedent for the rest of the match. No. Let's see if the Keel lads have been woken up by that now. Yeah, and there's we'll... been some good play on both sides, but unfortunately, Keel were just a little too sloppy in some areas. Yep. <coughs> so. It's a delightful chance by the staff's crowd. Indeed. So Ed Hornby with, to get us restarted. And let's hope we get up very quickly, ready to... And he's gone to the right. We split sure. the pack. And, and not taken, or caught by check on the rebound. And Staffs have turned staff, it over. Staff, oh. what, go, the Staffs player there nice burst into a few tackles. Heel. Finally managed to stop him. And very well pushed by the Keel boys there. Still Staffs ball as they move the rock into a rolling ball. And back down to a rock again. And back at hand. Oh, nice. And heel ball. Heel. So it seems the ball went into the rock and was not coming back out again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, lots of things going for the keel scrum. It's interesting to see if we can get the nudge on against yes. the staff's boys. Keel getting ready to balls in and very strong push. Very Keen nice, strong. well pushed, well taken up by Keel. And Ugo's got it out and back down. No like, one seems to be protecting oh, the rock though, uh, so staff's been very nearly over. A little bit under committing there. Seen a good few teams lose because of overcommitment to the ruck, but undercommitting is as equally problematic. Yep. Back out. Well, very nicely taken. <laughs> Still going. That's, Still going. That's Sam Aliot. Um, Still going. And staff's penalty from oh. that. Some irritation by the Keel supporters. Indeed, and Sam Aliot being spoken to by the oh. referee. Ed Hornby called over. I didn't see what that would look like he was handed off to the too high. Seems to be an issue with Sam Elliott's hand off by the looks of the ref signals. Come on, and and the staffs have kicked for touch and, and it's gone found in. it. And over it, the fence somewhere. Oh marvellous. I do hope someone's got a spare ball. Yes, that would certainly put a brief pause on the game. As they prepare for the, I think there's been a lot more action by the forwards and the backs on the keel side. It does seem so. Playing a little too defensively. We and do not need to secure to... the ball a bit better though, just to make sure that we avoid some of those turnovers. Yes, that, the last period of play we managed to keep hold on it pretty well, but uh, until that rather unfortunate penalty. And it seems we are waiting for a spare ball. Oh. Um, and we and found it. By and there's... There we go. Thank you, Hobson. No, nope. No, he's... Hornby's not happy with that one. Oh. 
Um, well, apologies for the delay, in yes. play, ladies and gentlemen. Because um, we found, is that the previous ball or a new one? Um, I think it might be the previous one. Oh, someone it came someone back climbed over the fence to the cricket grounds. And there we go. There we go. So, so in for the staff's line out, I think it was a penalty. And our form in the line out so far has been. And that is. Ooh! <laughs> just dropped by the staff's player. And a knock on from staff's. <laughs> so that. Knock on from staff's. Keel uh, scrum. Keel scrum. Swim half away, Frank. You can just about make out as the shorter of the pack <laughs> over there. <laughs> Famous moustache, frankly. <laughs> I haven't right had a chance here. to inspect it up close. <laughs> <laughs> and that's in. Straight in. Oh, and straight nice. out the other straight side. Straight out. Oh, that's Staff's not, we're more awake than our lads were, yes. seemingly. And we need to get back. Oh, and a missed tackle there. It's missed tackle by Simon Longstaff, I think. Where on earth was oh, Long, oh, the going? That's, uh, oh, penalty staffs. And that's is that the third or fourth penalty to staff so far? Third. Our cameraman has just pointed at me. So yeah. unfortunate. Still in the first half, and we've already had three. Indeed, and Staffs again kicking for the post with their, oh. their fullback there. So that scuppers every all the other predictions if he makes it. Or did you predict six? Uh, I know Nick. I think Nick predicted a six. So that so he's the only one left in the running if. Uh, <laughs> as long as we don't let any more in, uh, our boys do need to wake up. Yes, the. Unfortunately, I think the previous year's wins have made them a little bit complacent. Yes, and I'm unaware of how, how staffs have been doing in, over this no, year. No, I haven't been keeping up with their season. But if Keel's hoping for promotion next season, then he better not play like this. And... Nope, that's gone oh, just to the left of the post. There. Nearly took out the station manager's car. In the staff's half. Franklin, get the ball out. Very nice. Into the backs a little more. Sam Olley got the lock in the middle of the in the backs line, mm. but straight back out to Joe Humphreys, the fly half. And that's oh. all taken by Cherka on the far wing. However, right, the oh, ball is oh, yes. still going, still going. Still going. Oh, and out. To yeah. Oh, Charlie Bethel taken Very down. Very nice tackle by the staff. Boys. It was last ditch there. Come on, lads. Lots of cries for wide from the supporters. Yes. It does need to go wider. And Jeremy Cheer in for the try. Jeremy Cheer. Very nice. Some beautiful teamwork by the clear line under the pitch the other without anything. Absolutely. Some very, very fine offloading play, keeping the ball alive. Because as we've seen, as soon as it gets into the rook, mm. the staffs do seem to be very strong at the broken ball. Keeping it live is definitely the way to that go forward. Is... And now we await the kick from Ed Hornby. Inside centre and captain for today's game for Keel. Take the kick. <laughs> Hoping the mic doesn't pick up some of the less than pleasant language going on. However, if it does, apologies to those watching at home. Ed Hornby lining up. Ed Hornby with the And that has made it. Nice. Flags up for the linesman. 7 3 to Keel. They've stepped up their game. And the rain is really starting to kick in now as the floodlights are back on. So let's see how the rest of the half fares. Huddling under our press gazebo here. <laughs> <laughs> Trying desperately to protect the camera. And staffs to restart. And Straight into the pack. Very nice taken, taken. Passed out beautifully. Very nice run there. Can't quite see, make out who that is. 
doing a lot of twirling there. Out by Franklin. There we go. Oh, and very nicely taken. Well offloaded. Out to Ed Hornby. Very On the nice. right. Beautiful Pass out. out. Hornby. Oh. Mm -hmm. Nick Alcliffe with a breaking run oh, into Charlie Bethel. Charlie Bethel going around to Ugo. Ugo, is Ugo right. taking his forward. Down and into a ruck for Keel. Longstaff. Longstaff taking it forward. Still going into a ruck. Franklin out. Hornby. Hornby passing it down the pitch. That's to Reese Groom. Out to Ancliffe. Taken. Oh, oh no! Interception from Stark! Oh. Can the Keel boys catch him up? And, oh, He's very fast down the wing. Ed Hornby might be faster, but do. Oh! No! Try from Stark! Try to Stark! Last minute. Oh! Intercepted on the five metre line. The lovely offload that would have worked beautifully and if it had come off. However, fortunately, the Keel boys just weren't fast enough. Yeah, but it was read by the Stouts fullback and showed them his heels as he went sprinting down that wing. And Ed Hornby just wasn't quite fast enough. No. Also appears to be a Keel player down. It looks like oh. An uh, Nick Antcliffe from outside centre. Appears to have. Hopefully he's alright. Yeah, Maybe a bit of cramp. Looks like he could have. Nothing too serious. Hopefully he's had some very nice play. Aye. And so he's receiving a little bit of attention as we also wait for the staff's fullback to convert his own try. As the rain thoroughly comes down in earnest, let's see if that continues to put off his kicking game. <laughs> Hopefully, someone's also giving us good talking to to the Keel boys. And um, flies are up. That's an extra two on. So currently. 10-7 to staffs. 10-7. A lot closer than I think anyone could have predicted. Absolutely. And certainly a far cry from the scores of, of last year. And indeed earlier in the season. Yes. Okay, of course, we're used to much larger scores with their last match, 77-9 against Chester. As well as a... Uh, and an earlier in the season, a 32-8 against Chester. Taken by the number six. And back up the back. pitch. Can Charlie Bethel take it? And yes, he does, well very taken. nicely taken. And he's booting Returned. it the other way. Was that side of 22? It hasn't gone in Taken touch. by Shafts. Oh, of course, very that's nice tackle. So we had to bounce that in, so it was still there for the Stouts player to catch. Solid differential. Very nice from Keel. forward play by Staffs. Getting it out to the number 10. He'll need to hold their line Keel. here. The Staffs do appear to have the numbers, but they've gone for the boot. Charlie Bethel taking, chasing and it down again, and that's bounced into, into touch. touch. I don't believe Charlie Bethel touched it though, so it should still be Keel Ball. Can't see. Yep, Keel yep, Ball for the linesman. Uh, the new, next line out of the game as the rain begins to ease off again. Ugo to feed in. And we've been mixing the line out so far. Indeed, we're evenly matched for height and for jumping. Very nice take. Into Down. a ball. Secure the ball. Type as many of their forwards as we can. Good. It still hasn't come out yet. Gong very. But still moving. Moved still quite far now. That's the first stoppage. Of course, I have three stoppages before it has to be used. And, and out. out. Oh, Ugo right in there. Lovely play by the keel hooker, but unfortunately it's a scrum down. Yeah. Not releasing the ball, and so on to staff penalty. And they're gone for the points again. Oh. So he's going for the post. He's closer in than his conversion was. So he'll be fairly confident in himself after that last kick. Keel boys really need to wake up in order to get their heads back in. Been a very mixed half for the Keel boys. Yeah, they've had some, some lovely offensive work. Some great runs, but, but uh, backed up by some less than stellar defensive work. Yes, quite a bit. I think, as you were saying in the pre-match commentary, 
Kiel are very much an offensive side. Yes. There's not being on the back foot. And, and flags up. up. And that definitely hit the station manager's car. So that's 13 7 now to staffs. And most of them, if not no all, coming off of that fullback. Two penalties. Try and converted it himself. Very good. Target, I think. Yes. <laughs> I think the Keel boys, particularly the front row, will be. Ed Hornby switching the kick. And short. Very, oh, wow. And taken In into the line. Touch. Off of staffs. So Keel line out just on the staffs 10 metre line. Some nice close-up action of the line out here. Yeah, Ugo's had some very nice clean throws so far. Yeah. So hopefully he can keep that up. One, nine, six, two, three, four, red. Just the tap. Oh. And over Reese oh, Groom is into the hands of a staff player. Staff's number seven, very nice interception. And but the Keel out boys the were very quick on the uptake. Great tackle from Ugo. Ugo is the And straight the on from the Keel boys. Very strong defence. And very Stars well stolen. turned over. Turned over for to Keel. Lovely Elfin work by the Keel boys. Into Antcliffe, who's barreling his way through staff players. Franklin, at Wolliot. Wolliot running very well there. Not a huge amount of support, they're a bit slow coming into that rock. Franklin out. Need to shift that out faster, oh, the Stas boys the read that like down. a book. <laughs> he is releasing. Franklin. Out. Out to Humphreys, to Hornby. And Hornby Hornby's shaking off one tackle, well. shaking off two, down to the ground. Franklin out again, out to Humphreys. Oh, oh and not forward George. by the keel prop. George Sisson there, hands not quite as good. <laughs> so scrum down to Staffs. That was unfortunate, some very good passing play. Some lovely prop in, prop in the line. Yes. You had a few of those moments yourself. Oh, I've, I've lost a few games because of that. <laughs> Uh, so scrum down to Keel. That's uh, the staff. Sorry. So, it's the staff's lone drummer on the other side. That you might be able to see on the camera. It's, uh, making a lot of noise. Not the most tuneful though. No. And stolen by Keel. Very, Very well. By Hugo. Very lovely work there. It's out from Franklin. Into Antcliffe. So, barreling into the staff's defence. Ugo is proving himself one of the more valuable forwards today. Absolutely. Out to Groom. No one in very quickly though. It's a mess of a rut. Out from Franklin. Very nice. Humphreys and the boots. well kicked up. And the Keel boys are it's just chasing jinx it around the fullback. Cheer. Cheer up quickly. And the, the fullback, and I think. He's dancing around people. There is some pitch side commentating going on by the well Keel. Well taken by Checker on the wing. The, oh, oh, lovely. Very dangerous to get Checker. Any room to run in? Oh, lovely. He's still going. Oh, still still three going. Three tackles and still didn't go down. Out from Franklin. Humphreys. It's gone past everyone. No one seems to claim that one. Into Ancliffe, who is running forward. Beautiful. Jinx is one. Jinx is two. Jinx is three. Oh, beautiful. Into cheer. Short of the line. Yeah. Oh, no, it wasn't short of the line. Try. And was that? No, penalty. Penalty. Oh, no, penalty. Goodness me, what's going on down there? The rook just before the try line, kill ball. And I think that was. Penalty to Staffs. Oh. Holding the ball. That was long Just staff short of the, the line. Ball. Penalty to Staffs. Very, very unfortunate. Also, does show the danger of what happens when it does come down to some of her backs. If you give Checker any room to run. Oh, a beautiful bit of play there by Checker. But yes, penalty to staffs. Very unfortunate. Fullback shouting instructions to the rest of his squad. Yes. Beautiful bit about the fullback. Of course, you can see everything that's going on. 
very useful player. Oh, and, that's and in just touch. into touch, just bet around the staff's 10 metre line. So we're hoping for a nice clean line out, we can get back on the offensive quickly. Starts with the line out. And Staff's taken that well one cleaner than their previous line outs. Hugo uh, holding in there. Staff's. Out to Staff's. The Keel defence backtracking quite rapidly, but trying to rip the ball there. Oh, and that's a mess of a ruck, but still Staff's ball. Out to their backs. Out to the Ish. number 10, nearly. <laughs> Nearly knocked it, but managed to recover. Not making any ground of it, but and oh. off to the boot. In gathered by Charlie Bethel. Back up, sends it. Back with his boot. That's Very running good. away. Oh, running he away. Is getting... and into... Oh, oh charge out. Bethel. Check out the wing. Again. Oh, he's down. <laughs> it's a charge down from the Keel player. Oh. Reese Groom taking in, taking it in far too good. Still needs to get his shoulder more into yeah. that. Had a lot of use support. his bolt. Pass that out. But out to Hornby. Hornby running. Who's very tackled, very taken very down. Trying to get back up, but he's a wing and a flanker forming the rook. Well, I know. Uh, very unusual. Out from Franklin to Humphreys. In to Longstaff. Longstaff. Longstaff still going, still nicely. going. Trying to make up earlier for his. Franklin out. Out to Ancliffe, out to Chia, who's got space on the wing! Oh! And Chia tackled. Slightly high, I would have said, but... But just short of the Keel line, a staff's line, Keel to Rook. Rory Franklin taking it forward himself. And penalty. Penalty. Penalty Keel, tackler not releasing oh. there. Rory Franklin with it. Very, very clever pick up from the back of the rock. Saw a bit of a gap and went forward. The Staffs player there not releasing his man. And they've got for a line out right down by the Keel try line. Oh, bit risky. <laughs> so. Keels line out right down in the danger zone against Staffs. As the rain. The rain picks up again. Well Very taken nice taken. Forwards doing what they do. Nice maul. Lovely forward work there. And try. Try there. Sam off to the back of the maul. Drops the ball over the try line. Fantastic Very nudge from the nice Keel boys. Play. Made good use of the space in the line out. As the rain comes pelting into his face, this is not pleasant in the slightest. <laughs> but excellent note from the forwards. I think with, if this rain continues, it could become a much more forwards game. Oh, yes. Thankfully, we have some quite athletic forwards. Yes. It's some gone are the days nice of the, the lumbering Hulk props <laughs> and the tiny, tiny hookers. Now, of course, it's almost more akin to, to League and Sevens. But everyone's very athletic in their build. Mm. And Ed Hornby gets the two extra Very points nice. on. Um, so 14, 13 to Keel puts us just Very ahead. close. I think this has been a closer game than anyone would have predicted. Absolutely. And we shall have to see what else can come in out of this half. Bismal conditions today down here in Newcastle, which is not going to be much pleasant for the football afterwards either. No. The football, of course, starting at just past seven o'clock this evening. Football is well known for their ability to be turned off by the slightest <laughs> incredible conditions. Well taken by Very the, the nice keel fo forward there. 
and running forward, Hugo taking you down. Apologies, just try to clear a bit of water off the lens. And booted forward. Well up by Keel. Taken by the fullback, who oh. takes his time with the kick. And straight out. He did not think that one to tap. He did not think that one through. Oh dear. Of course, he was, he was only on his 10 metre, straight into touch, therefore back where he Some kicked loud it. loud and enthusiastic abuse being shouted <laughs> at the fullback by the Keel fans. I think he lost track of where he was on the pitch there. Well, to be fair, he has been in the keel half for quite a long time. <laughs> yes, maybe. So he's a bit confused by being in his own half. Uh, do appear to be missing our hooker, Ugo, who is Ugo down on the floor. Down. Just a bit of cramp by the looks of things, but hopefully should be alright. <laughs> he's been a very useful player so far. Absolutely, and U Ugo, of course, with his 100th cap for keel this year. Well, very, well, this very today. impressive. Fourth year pharmacy student has been playing for since essentially day one. It's lovely to see some of the older boys playing as well as uh, the very some fresh new. Blood in. So this of course being the f first year there's been a third team for Kiel. Absolutely. Yes. So Fantastic recruitment this developing year. Developing a squad for down the line. Ball in for Mugo. Oh. And snapped by Stas. And oh! Free kick from Keel to Keel. Okay. Staff's jumping far too early in the line out. Yeah. And we've gone for the scrum. Well done, Keel. Been but, very good in the scrum so far. Already been showing our dominance. It's the number nine just wipes the ball down. And of course, very strong from Keel, but also manages to keep as many of the staffs forwards as tied up as we can. <laughs> Ball in from Franklin. Very Str lovely. Straight to the back of Keel. Right out. out from Franklin to Humphreys. Into the backs. Lovely play there. Into Ancliffe, who on the on the run, uh, on the run there. Textbook scrum by Keel there. Humphreys. And knocked forward by the Keel second row. Come on, Keel. Staffs have the ball. Conditions now becoming just. Horrendous. So if you can see the rain on the camera, it is torrential now. You can hear it too. Unfortunately, the rowing society aren't out today. <laughs> <laughs> they might be more used than a rugby team. Yes. And no, we are not cooking sausages. That is the sound of the rain on top of our press gazebo. As staff's here with the penalty. Uh, the, the staff's drummer trying to keep people entertained. Wow, it is fairly it. tuneless. I think it is in fact a different drummer than earlier. <laughs> uh, spare ball coming in. As we try and retrieve the one from the cricket ground. <laughs> Thank goodness we're not playing the cricket at the same time. Otherwise yes. we might have taken out a fielder or two. But still, likewise, if a six came the other way, that could be an interesting thing. With oh, the ball. Yes. Anyway, just as long as it hits staff with the put in. And, oh, and nearly. Not very clean. But straight up by Keel. Into the mall. Gone down into a ruck by the look of it. Out into the. The staff's players. Very nice resistance by the Keel boys. Out to the staff's prop there in the back line. Very big chat. <laughs> And still being yeah. just popped and run by the staffs forwards. Nothing from their backs as yet. <laughs> I think we might see that now. Out to their backs. Popping it in. And we can see their winger was yeah. off on a run of his own. And, oh. and taken by the winger out on the keel wing. Unfortunately there we couldn't see what was going on. But this ref's coming all the way back for a penalty. Okay, I think he's been playing advantage for a while. Yes, offside from keel. A lot of activity in the press gazebo as we approach half time. And staff's going for the kick again. 
and trying to close in the points as the game. As we approach half time. Full back once again. He's been a dangerous player this game, so he could just get the nudge on us as we go into half time. And indeed, and that's over and clean, making it 16 14. Uh, no. No. <laughs> nope. Yes. Just, just some quick maths going on here. Yeah, so you got that one? Yeah. yeah. Very nice kick, well up by the Keel boys. But well taken by Staffs, very strong. Not very quickly out, and that's turnover. Keel ball. Keel ball. That's a cheer. Very Taken nice. forward very strongly. To Humphreys. Good run in from Checker. Very good line. Checker once again proving he's a very, very useful player to have. No one protecting the scrum half. But the ref is playing advantage to Keel. Oh. Advantage, I believe, it now might be over. Out from Checker to Hornby. Hornby. Kicking it through. Charlie Bethel chasing. And oh, down on it. Staff's put it down, but the ref's coming back for the advantage. Oh. Ref came back for the advantage. Of course, why the ball was kicked in the first place. And what's Keel opting for? We go, going for the points. Going for the points. Hopefully to put us back ahead by a point. <laughs> this may well be the last play of this half. Hornby prepares to take the kick. So, see, Hornby's boot has done us quite well thus far. Let's see if he can add a few extra. Putting us just above staffs. Staff's drum now being drummed by one of the subs, it would appear. And Hornby, clean and over, nice by extra three. 17-16 to Keel as we hit half-time. A very, very eventful half for the first half, and a lot more than any of us could have predicted in terms of the scoreline. So, of course, you heard the predictions before, and some of them are saying <laughs> nil. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, how's that looking now, boys? Uh, well, for a team that has you know, somewhere around minus 100 plus points difference in their league, uh, they're not looking too bad out there, as in that staff, that is. So, uh, yeah, we. Uh, we may have been over ambitious. <laughs> I think the problem the problem is is their fifteen is their best player. Yeah, very useful All the player. points so very far, like, come so off the kick, So uh, in our half, we need to stop giving away penalties. Uh, yeah. As you see, when we get the ball, uh, you know we're running through them every time we've scored, every time we've got the ball. It's just getting the ball, uh, getting into their half, putting the pressure on. Absolutely, but absolutely running a passing play. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Line. Yeah, brilliant. Very once it gets out to the backs, it's been some beautiful play. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I think the. The, the main thing is we need to stop playing the long ball. Um, we need to stop. Uh, I mean, we've, we've, we've played some absolutely fantastic kicks and uh, and some kicks have won us a massive amount of ground. But uh, the kicks that haven't won us, they have come back and, and got points off basically. Um, so I, I personally think that we should play, uh, you know, just a lot of running game, especially within our wingers. Our wingers are much stronger than theirs. Yeah. Very, um, very good. Yeah, and yeah. The, 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 when I when I'm seeing us um, make it a lot of ground, it's when we uh, go one way and then we fire back the other way. We use the uh, the backs on the outside to to get round. We probably put a forward in there, and then we get the forward to, to smash it up, draw a couple of players, and give it out. Absolutely. That's how it, all our scoring opportunities have come come, pa yeah. come through. So of course, all of theirs coming from mistakes on Keel's part. Three exactly. penalties are down yeah. in our half, yeah. and also a try from that very very unfortunate interception, uh, interception mm. down there. Interception tries they work both ways. Like if the fullback had caught it, obviously try. If he hadn't caught it, we would have been in yeah, for we a We would try. have been. Absolutely. You know, it's exactly. just. Very, very close. It's just there. Uh, the cheerleaders just come on. Yeah. Uh, some some half-time entertainment from the cheerleaders cool. in the rain. They're probably not the conditions <laughs> they're expecting. No. 
official. So, let you, uh, view that, then. my view of cheerleaders. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, boys. Uh, no, we'll, uh, we'll let the cheerleaders get on with that. Uh,